from Louisiana to California. This movie monster has been spotted in cities across the country. Which monster is it? It's Ghostface from the iconic Scream franchise. Is it just a TikTok trend, or is something more sinister at play? Turns out that at the moment, it may be neither. Although, I feel like it probably will become a trend at some point. But actual sightings of Ghostface have been reported, and law enforcement has taken notice of it. I mean, it can be unnerving to see something like that around the city corner, or worse, outside your house. I would freak out, but these sightings are happening just before the theatrical release of Scream 6. Hello, Sydney. You know, the infamous villain who takes on a new identity with each new Scream movie? Well, this time around, Ghostface is back for what's gearing up to be the most gruesome and brutal installment of the franchise yet. The new movie is a direct sequel to the previous one. It follows the Carpenter and Meek siblings as they leave Woodsboro to start fresh in New York City. Unfortunately for them, a new Ghostface killer is on the loose again, and once again, hiding behind that iconic white mask and causing all kinds of mayhem, this guy just won't give up. But it turns out that we don't really have to be scared. If you spot one in your neighborhood, the Ghostface may just be doing doing its job. In my head, their job is also to kill people, so I don't know. But I think this is simply a viral marketing stunt by the movie's team. Okay then, just a gentle reminder of your friendly neighborhood slasher, coming soon to a theater near you. Hello? Why don't you want to talk to me? Who is this? You tell me your name, I'll tell you mine. <laughs> I don't think so. What's that noise? Popcorn. You making popcorn? Uh-huh. Well, I'm getting ready to watch a video. And that's exactly what it is. It's definitely not the first time Paramount has used the tactic. Other horror movies also used similar techniques to create a buzz, which seems to be working. Until someone in Sonoma, California actually called the police on Ghostface. As they should have, actually. When someone dressed up as Ghostface showed up in the busy town square, it understandably freaked out a bunch of residents who called the cops to investigate. But according to the Sonoma Police Department, the person person in the costume was actually hired by Paramount to promote the upcoming Scream 6 movie, so there's nothing to worry about, and the situation has been taken care of. As a horror movie buff, that's low-key disappointing, but for the people who saw Ghostface, it was probably quite disturbing, and poor Paramount. Their clever marketing tactic kinda fell victim to the police. It's not just Sonoma. The sightings also took place in New Orleans and St. Louis, but the sighting in California City is way more significant. The postmodern ironic slasher movie was written by Kevin Williamson and made in Sonoma County. It was actually filmed in the area around Santa Rosa, which is located in Northern California. In the movie, poor Casey Becker, played by Drew Barrymore, lives in an isolated house on Sonoma Mountain Road in Glen Ellen. That's situated southeast of Santa Rosa on Route 12. Meanwhile, the character Sidney Prescott, played by Neve Campbell, lives to the north of Santa Rosa on Calistoga Road. So there's no actual Woodsboro in Northern California, which is where the movie is set. Originally, the plan was for Santa Rosa High School to be the location of Woodsboro High, but the school board decided against it after reading the script. So, the school ended up being played by Sonoma Community Center, which is located to the southeast of Santa Rosa on East Napa Street. As for the Woodsboro Town Square, where the teens gather to discuss the Ghostface Killer murders, that's actually way north of Santa Rosa and Heldsburg. Specifically, it's the town square on High Highway 101, and the cop station is Heldsburg Police Station. So it was kinda like a homecoming for Ghostface when they showed up for that very public appearance. But it was definitely a marketing stunt by Paramount. The marketing campaign for the movie has included people dressed as Ghostface, with the masked murderer making appearances in at least three cities. Apparently, there have been multiple sightings of people dressed as Ghostface, but it was the one person seen standing on a street corner in Sonoma on Monday, which prompted several 911 calls. The Sonoma Police Department
statement later confirmed that the person was hired by a company through Paramount to promote the new Scream movie. But it's not just Sonoma where Ghostface has been seen. There have also been sightings in New Orleans and St. Louis. Paramount actually used the same technique with another of their movies. Remember the 2022 movie Smile? So before the movie was released, the marketing team for the studio pulled off this stunt during a few Major League Baseball games. They bought seats behind home plate and had actors sitting there, grinning like crazy into the camera for the pitcher batter shot. They did it for a while, just to make sure people really noticed. To be honest, none of the two tactics really caught on the way the clown sightings of 2016 did, where creepy clowns were just showing up in random places. Yup, that happened just before the release of the 2017 version of it. And while initially it may have been a stunt, it really caught on, with more and more people joining in on the trend. But back to Ghostface, they've really endured the test of time. Ghostface is one of the most iconic horror movie monsters yet. They've got that unique look that is instantly recognizable. The ghostly white mask with a black robe and the eerie voice creates an unnerving presence on the screen. The simplicity and familiarity of the mask and costume make it easy for viewers to associate with the character. The Scream movies were a significant shift in the horror genre. They were self-aware and poked fun at horror movie tropes while still delivering on scares. The combination of humor and horror made the movies popular with both horror fans and casual viewers. Finally, Ghostface's unpredictability and cunningness adds to his allure as a horror movie monster. The character is a master of deception and can change his tactics on the fly, making him a formidable foe for the protagonists. The sixth installment of the movie is now in theaters. If you haven't watched the movie yet, here's what the plot of Scream 6 looks like. No spoilers, I promise. We'll see Sam, played by Melissa Barrera, and Tara Carpenter, played by Jenna Ortega, dealing with the aftermath of the terrible events from Scream 2022. They've now moved to New York City, but they're still struggling to come to terms with everything that's happened. Tara is trying to live a normal life in college with her friends Chad, played by Mason Gooding, and Mindy Meeks Martin, played by Jasmine Savoy Brown. These guys are also survivors from Woodsboro, but things take a turn for the worse when Ghostface comes back to terrorize them all over again. And this time, it's not going to be a walk in the park. The film promises to be the most shocking and gruesome chapter in the Scream franchise yet, and let's face it, we all know Ghostface is no longer the bumbling fool we once thought he was. He's back with a vengeance, and he's out for blood. What's exciting about Scream 6 is that Ghostface's motive for the killing spree isn't Sidney Prescott for the first time in the franchise. So really, anything could happen. It's going to be a roller coaster ride of death, bloodshed, and unexpected twists that will leave you on the edge of your seat. So get ready for another wild ride. And that's why Ghostface sightings have been happening across the country. Yes. Um, Nightmare on Elm Street. Is that the one where the guy had knives for fingers? Yeah, Freddy Krueger. Oh, Holy shit, it's Ghostface!